In my opinion, the innovation areas in Net 5.5G should include the enterprise campus network, the wide area transport network, as well as the data center network, and obviously on top of that, a network security. According to our latest IDC Networking and Lifecycle Services survey, which asked about 1,200 IT leaders about their networking spending and requirements, 33% of companies said they have wireless networking in the top three of their investment priorities. The most important use case for network investment in the next two years was the support of office productivity applications, including video conferencing, cited by 52% of respondents. This Net 5.5G solution is designed to support a wide array of applications from smart manufacturing and finance to government services and entertainment. These could include automated driving training, which requires massive amounts of data to move across the network, 3D modeling, but also video generation from text. To us, here are some of the key features. Number one, a high quality 10 gig network in order to build an experience centric campus wireless network. In the enterprise campus network, Net 5.5G will leverage the use of Wi-Fi 7 to build an all-covering wireless network. Multi-gigabit switches should be adopted for the high bandwidth of the uplink of Wi-Fi 7. Converge WAN to provide differentiated connections for industry digitalization. We're seeing a fundamental upgrade of access networks to 10 gig, either in cellular, at home, or in the campus. 5.5G aims to provide a direction for the evolution of the wide area network. This includes an end-to-end 400-gig -end broadband network foundation to guarantee the user's services experience. Net 5.5G also defines SRV6 network slicing and other technologies to improve the automation and the service experience around services capabilities. Net 5.5G also introduces a network digital map for network management, where the network digital map, the physical network, the service network, and also the application experience can be displayed, which makes for a network management uh, environment that is much easier. Hyperconverged data center networking for efficient release of computing power in the AI era. A hyperconverged data center network is the new type of uh, DCN, which is built on one lossless Ethernet network that can carry general purpose, storage, and HPC services. In such a network, 400 to 800 gig high-speed interconnections greatly improves investment efficiency. The network level load balancing algorithm is also used to build a high-throughput AI cluster network meeting the requirements of general computing, storage, HPC and AI computing power. Uh, 5.5G also focuses on the resilience of networks, including its multi-DC network solution. This approach ensures stable digital services, uh, which is crucial for enterprise requiring fault-tolerant and always-on services. Cloud Network Edge Endpoint Integrated Security, Intelligent Security Protection for Enterprise Branches. Now on the security side, network security is obviously critical to, many, to every enterprise and every scenario. SASE is a good example and a good choice for achieving cloud network edge device synergy and for comprehensive protection. In Net 5.5G, some key capabilities and features are proposed for SASE. For example, in cloud testing, threats must be handled within seconds. The network must be able to meet the comprehensive collaboration requirements of ultra-large networks. On the edge side, the detection performance must be at the terabit level. On the device side, real-time and 100% accurate anti-ransomware must be provided. Now, Net 5.5G was proposed around two years ago. The vision paper of Net 5.5G was released in 2023. The upcoming white papers and working groups under the WBBA banner will further articulate Net 5.5G architectures and its applications. Working Group 4 of the WBBA has also been working on Net 5.5G since last year. It will release the first edition of the Net 5.5 standard in the first half of 2000.
2024. And we've seen Net 5.5G also being launched commercially across the globe. For example, in Saudi Arabia, where that country will use Net 5.5G to build the 10, 10 gig city. In China, the Shenzhen government encourages enterprises to adopt Net 5.5G to build the Speed Pioneer City in 2024. Huawei's efforts extend beyond technology innovation to include active engagement with the broader industry through initiatives like the WBBA. This collaborative effort aims to accelerate the development of networking ecosystems, highlighting Huawei's commitment to drive network-wide progress. Huawei has released a full stack of portfolios and solutions based on Net 5.5G. Now, according to IDC, in addition, we also saw that Huawei launched more than 50 commercial Net 5.5G projects across the world. The company positions its Net 5.5G intelligent cloud network as a strategic enabler of digital transformation across industries. By addressing the critical need for high quality, resilient and secure network infrastructure, we believe that Huawei aims to pave the way for improved digital productivity in an ever-changing global landscape.